On the subject of oil prices and the budget and where our cuts will be, we believe that there is so much waste and so much mismanagement within the government that we can find all sorts of efficiencies to bring better value for your tax dollars without going to the trough again, without putting our hands out and telling the public they have to give us more tax dollars. Within the government, tens of million dollars here, hundreds of millions of dollars here, 50 millions of dollars here, this adds up to real money after a while. If we go through that process and we have to continue with deficit spending for a couple of years, then we do that, but we hold the line on taxes to throw more money at bad management has never proven to solve any problems. We were, for a period of time, dependent as much as 40% of our uh, revenue on fossil fuels. We're now down to 20%. We're not as dependent as the government wants us to think we are on. And with that in mind, 10 or 11 years ago, when Ralph Klein handed over the keys to Ed Stelmack, oil was at 50 bucks. He handed over an $8 billion surplus. So it can be done. We can balance the budget, we can put money in the Heritage Savings Trust Fund, we can build our infrastructure, which by the way, many people blame Ralph and lack of infrastructure spending on his austerity measures, on his budget cuts. It's just not true. They have to go and look at the numbers. Under Ralph Klein's tenure, we were spending on average three times the national average on infrastructure. In his final year, we spent four times the national average on infrastructure. And yet he still balanced the budget, handed over an $8 billion surplus, all at $50 oil.